All right, I am back with another car recommendation video. I first did this a few years ago when I promoted the Toyota Prius quality vehicle, very fuel efficient, and uh, back then they were actually affordable. You could even go to a dealership and buy the cars. Today, if you go to the dealership, they're back ordered. You're going to be waiting months. And if you're trying to buy a Prius used, they are so expensive that I can't even recommend them anymore. And so I was sort of racking my brain because the, the used car market now is just so expensive these days. What's a great car to get people into in 2022? And that's when it hit me. My old vehicle that I used to drive was a Honda Civic. So what you're seeing here is that car. This is a 2013 Honda Civic EXL. And the L stands for leather. It's the highest trim level for the Honda Civic. Uh, one thing to note, the 2012s were kind of bare bones, and so they, you should be able to find those a little bit cheaper than the 2013s. But the 2013s, just, oh man, they, they hit it out of the park with that year. And both years are built like tanks in terms of reliability. They're going to run for quite some time. I'm, I'm easily figuring 200,000 miles, if not 300,000 miles. Uh, fuel efficiency, these cars are about 28, 29 in the city. I'm going to say I got about 30 because I have a pretty light foot. On the freeway, you're probably going to hit uh, 42 miles a gallon. You can increase that by driving conservatively. So they're, they're fuel efficient cars. They don't cost a lot to register. They don't cost a lot to insure. These are good cars for teenagers, uh, you know, because it's, it's a car that's going to last you about a decade. So you might get somebody entering high school, then they're going through college, then they graduate college and they'll still have a car for a few more years, saving up money to buy a new one. And the pricing on these cars nowadays, well, when this when this one was new, it was about $23,000. Now, this car that you're seeing here, it's got 100,000 miles on it, would probably sell for about $16,000, give or take. Um, but the pricing... It's all over the place. The lower trim levels, the LX, I've seen them in the 9,000 area. And, uh, you know, I would say probably about 13, 14, 15 is where you're going to see a lot of these. And uh, between the LX, the EX, and the EXL, if you have a beginning driver, get them into an EX or an EXL because they have bigger brakes. So they're going to stop a little bit faster than the lowest trim level, which is the LX. Uh, complaints after several years, almost a decade. Um, the only things that I can think of that really kind of deteriorated with this car, the leather seats, the, the front two seats, those faded. That just happened. So I live in Arizona. The sun just beats everything to hell. Also living in Arizona, the outside weather trimming uh, really made it brittle and it flaked off. I hear that's not a problem in other parts of the nation where it doesn't get as hot as it does in Arizona. One thing to note, if you are shopping for a 2012 or 2013 Honda Civic, if you are in a winter area where it snows, you're going to need to pay attention to rust. That is going to be a factor that you should check for. I would even go so far as saying, hey, if you're looking for one of these older cars, go to the Southwest, like plan a trip out here, buy the car because it shouldn't have any rust if it's in the de desert area, and then just drive it home. I, di I did the cross-country trip with this car about two years ago, and it, it held up like a champ. I had no concerns whatsoever about um, the car breaking down. And there are a lot of modifications for the Honda Civic. One of the things that you can do with the dash on this particular car it's got knobs and buttons, but if, if you want a more modern look, you can easily replace the knobs and buttons with an LCD touchscreen, and it, it just makes the car look super, super modern. And that modification is only about four to $500, and for folks who can do it themselves, it might even be cheaper than that. So I also have a front and back dash cam on the car, and any car that I've ever had, that's something I put in it's for your own personal protection. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's crazy now. You know, the average new car price is about $41,000 and interest rates have gone so high compared to when rates were around zero. You're, you're probably looking at maybe six, seven, eight, nine percent if you have really good credit in the used car market. Um, you know, new cars, if you're getting a new car through a credit union, you might be able to get three and a half percent. But, uh, you know, car prices are dropping in the used market. Prices are trending down. But uh, they're, they're still at elevated, expensive levels. But come December, come January, you might be seeing some Honda Civics out there that are being priced at a much lower level. And at that point, it'd be a good idea to buy them up. Uh, so...
just just because interest rates are going to keep rising and that will drag down the affordability of vehicles you know people aren't going to be able to afford a 25 or thirty thousand dollar used car they're going to be looking in the you know twenty thousand and under segment and this this car here i think has the potential to become just as popular as the toyota priuses that i used to tell you about so i'm giving all of my viewers a heads up if you're looking for a used vehicle you want something quality reliable check out the 2012 and 2013 honda civics